Hello, I'm going to talk to you about the M5 LCD display that is often used with the SM LRO bicycles. So to start, um, you use the M, the mode button, to turn the display off and on or on and off. You just hold it down for a couple seconds. To get into the configuration options, you hold down the up and the down arrow. Uh, once you do that, it will get into the configuration options of the display. Before making any changes in here, I highly recommend that you video record or take pictures of your settings just to make sure that you don't have any issues down the road if you're playing around with things. So now we'll jump right in. Option number one is where you can configure the backlight brightness where one is the darkest level and three is the brightest. Option number two is where you can set it to be either kilometers per hour or miles per hour. Zero is kilometers and one is miles per hour. Option number three is where you set your voltage level. In my case, I have a 48 volt battery pack, so that's what I have it set to. Option four is where you set the screen timeout. It defaults to 10 minutes, so if unused for 10 minutes, the screen will turn off. Option number five is where you set the help bit file level. The first digit is where you define whether the bike, will, when powered on, will start in either power level zero or one. So 0 equals no power level, 1 equals power level 1. The next digit over is where you define how many levels of power the bike has, where you can choose either 3 or 5. And 3 gives you the same power as 5, you just don't have the same granularity. I like to run the bikes within uh, with 5 power levels. 6 is where you define your tire size. It's not the tire, it's not the size that's on the side of the tire, but the actual diameter. In my case, this is a 26 inch fat bike tire where the diameter is actually about 29 inches. Option number seven, I can't really tell you much about it, but uh, I just keep it to one, which is how it came. Option number eight is where you set the speed limit. So this is the max speed that the bike will assist you at power levels. So um, you can do the max of 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour. Option number nine is where you define zero start. Um, zero meaning it will start kicking in as soon as you're pedaling if you set it to one then you actually have to pedal a little bit and and get a little speed before the motor will actually kick in option number 10 is where you can set the, the power mode of the bike if you set it to zero it will only give you pedaling assistance and the throttle doesn't work if you set it to one only the throttle works if you set it to two you get both the pedal assistance as well as the throttle working option number 11 is where you're you define the sensitivity of the pedal assistance. So it's basically the rotations around pedaling. You can do it at one being the lowest or 24 being the highest. So if you set it to 24, you have to do more pedaling before the bike understands that you're pedaling to help give you power. So it kind of depends on how quickly you want that motor to cut on and off. Option 12 is where you define the intensity of power that kicks in initially when you're pedaling. So if you set it to one, it'll give you the least amount of power and level five will give you a, the greatest amount of power when it detects that you're pedaling. Option 13 is where you specify how many magnets are on the crank sensor. In my case, I have five magnets. The choices are five, eight, or 12. Option 14 is where you can specify the, the maximum amount of power that you want the controller to draw. So the defaults to 12 amps. Option 15 is where you can control the under voltage. So basically if the power on the battery is getting too low, it will just cut off instead of continuing trying to operate. These next few configuration options may be a little different for different versions of the display. In my case, number option 16 is where you can set to have either the cruise control ability enabled or not. So one is where it can be enabled and zero is where it's disabled. Option 17 is where you can reset the odometer. If you just press and hold the mode button, it will reset the odometer back to zero. From here, you can either wait a few seconds or press and hold the up and down at the same time and it'll take you back to the regular screen.